Recording video. Viewfinder. Image. Double tap and hold to adjust exposure. Speech off. Hi guys. It's the I Life with Kelly. This is part two. <laughs> this is part two of my um, cook with me edition. Preparing my family meal for Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. It's Vlogmas Day 25. It's VI Life with Kelly. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, guys. So right now I have the water is boiling for the lasagna noodles. So I'm going to go on. I added one teaspoon of kosher salt to that. Um, so I'm going to go on and put the noodles in there. Then after that, I pulled the um, the salad dressing that I made with you guys out in part one because I'm going to add the cherry tomatoes, the grape tomatoes to this, and then I'm going to let them put. I'm going to put them back in the refrigerator. Um, and then after that, I'm going to go ahead on and cut up all the vegetables. Um, yeah. I'm going to cut up all these vegetables and let them start sauteing for the lasagna because the lasagna is only going to take about 15 minutes to boil. They're going to be ready. Um, there it is. So you don't have to worry. It will be ready. And I only use a normal size pack of the lasagna. This makes a, a whole pan, five layers. It makes five layers, an entire lasagna pan. Okay. So don't worry. Um, I'm pretty much using the same things, Good and Gathers um, tomato basil sauce. I'm using the Hunt's diced tomatoes again. Um, I'm using my one yellow sweet onion again so let me see where i put i'm using some minced garlic this time um i'm going to add that to everything so what i want to get out the way real quick i want to dice up these tomatoes with you guys let me find them i'll put them somewhere oh here they are these are the great tomatoes that i bought they're perfect for salads you could use whatever tomato you want these are the ones I'm using. All I'm going to do is snip off the ends and slice them in half and add them to my salad dressing. And then I'm going to put that salad dressing right back in the refrigerator to let it chill. Um, I am going to add a little minced garlic to take it to the next level. And it's going to really bring the salad dressing full circle. Another thing I like to add when I make my own salad dressing or vinaigrette, um, whatever you want to call it. I like to add my capers um, to my mix. So, but this time, guys, I'm not going to be doing that. What are all my knives? Sharing the kitchen is hard, guys, because whatever you thought was going on is not always what's going on when you come back in the kitchen let me see you may have to start over and all of that let me see so how's it going so far how is christmas did everybody get what they wanted did you get things you didn't expect to get like what what do you think guys did you get to spend it did you guys make it home in time are you still waiting on people to make it home how'd it go guys how's the weather did we get snow where we wanted snow did we get um sun where we wanted sun what are we doing now i always re recommend using a cutting board when cutting um because it's a prevention guys and it's faster let me get my cutting board um it's a lot faster i know you guys are looking like kelly i see two cutting boards already you pulling out another cutting board how many cutting boards do you have right guys i have a lot 
the sign of a true chef, right? We have tools, guys. We have plenty of them. We have lots of tools. Christmas this morning was so cute with my little G-baby. She's so freaking cute. All the time. She, she cries because she gets all scared about everything. But, um, guys, she's so cute. I mean, so adorable. She got put in her, um, walker today for the first time. Her mom put it together for us and um, she started crying about that It's because she was worried like wait <laughs> she'd be like concerned like is this mine can I touch it she just such a little princess Nina Bonita yeah guys so I'm just cutting up. I'm going to use every last one of these grape tomatoes. I'm slicing them in half. Um, I'm using an organic spring mix that I picked up from Target. And it has like green leaf, red leaf, arugula, like tons of different lettuce. I don't tend to buy salad dressing unless it's like a Bragg's salad dressing or if I'm at a specific store that has um, out of the norm options because pretty much all the salad dressings on the aisle have soy in them and um, soy is just not good for you no matter how they market it or advertise it soy is not good for you um, for men it decreases it decreases your testosterone levels, um, which is not good. Um, so if you're struggling with testosterone, you need to start becoming a label reader and look at what drinks, food, seasonings, everything has soy in it and take it out your diet right away. If you find yourself in a lot of arguments um you need to look at how much estrogen even for women if you find that your um time of the month is even harder on you than usual like you're really going through it you need to check and decrease the amount of estrogen you're in, you're ingesting high estrogen foods are like spinach broccoli um, soy, let me see, you're a woman, your body produces estrogen on its own, you don't need to add estrogen to your life, and spinach and broccoli are not natural um, plants, they're not natural vegetables, and you should definitely look at how many things are you eating and ingesting that are not natural? That will help you tremendously with a lot of plummeting emotions, depression, you know, all of that, guys. These dairy products, you really got to be careful with what you eat, what you put in your mouth. You got to be careful. And pay attention to where you're getting your information as well. Guys, okay, so my lasagna is over there doing its thing. I'm getting ready. As soon as I finish with these tomatoes, I'm getting ready to go over there and stir the lasagna down. Because we don't want sticky lasagna. We want um, We want cooked firm lasagna noodles, but we don't want it sticky. If you don't like tomatoes, don't just skip this part. You do not have to add tomatoes to the salad. The salmon is already done, guys. I have it in the oven. It's just cooling. But the salmon is done. I wonder if that why.
we're gonna put this on Yeah, we're gonna put the salad together last. That's gonna be on part three. That's gonna be on part three when I put together the salad for you guys. It is a process in everything that I do. See, it allows the flavors. If you ever have an issue where you're like, gosh, I use so many things and I still don't have the flavor that I'm desiring. It's because you're not allowing things to set like and marinate. You're just kind of throwing everything in there at one time. And it needs to be added incrementally, like small amounts, it needs to be added. It doesn't need to be just tossed together. Mm -mm, that's not how that works. Right now, I'm just moving the dressing and the tomatoes around together to make sure all the tomatoes are coated in our dressing. What did I do, you guys? Oh, here's this out. Here's the minced garlic. I did pick this up. Um, I think I picked this up from Target. Yeah, I did. I picked this up from Target. And I'm going to add about two teaspoons of minced garlic to my salad dressing and the great tomatoes that's happening okay so and i will put a little bit of the juice in there if you don't like garlic i don't know why oh that minced garlic smells so good guys that's gonna make oh and that salad oh that salad dressing already smells so so good okay guys so i'm just moving the dressing the tomatoes and the garlic around all right let me show you guys what it looks like hopefully you can see it um you could zoom in or something or take a screenshot but that's my salad dressing so far um i'm going to go on and let this finish chilling in the refrigerator so we're gonna seal that. We don't want air in there because we don't want the tomatoes drying out. We don't want um, the garlic drying out. We don't want it. Ooh, you guys, I want some more of that pineapple cake, okay? That's my secret. Okay, so now I've got my wooden spatula that I like. So now, guys, I am going to stir this pasta it feels like it's pretty much ready so i'm gonna take my colander yeah i'm gonna give it like five more minutes in there because i do feel some hard spots like on the ends that just fell down in there but i'm gonna give it about five more minutes now let me see what i need to do next okay guys so let's see what time it is. <coughs> you guys, excuse me. Okay, so 4.42, let's see. You guys, when I tell y'all the pepper, when you cook with fresh food and seasonings, you really gotta watch it because once you throw it in the air. Okay, so what I wanna do now is show you guys Here's my fresh garlic that I've already peeled and my onion that I'm going to use. So I always use one whole onion at least. Um, and then I use, let me see, um, the about 12 pieces. Let me see how many cloves of garlic I have right now. Okay, I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, guys, I didn't even think so. So I have like 12, but I count these larger ones that look like grape tomatoes. I count those as two, even possibly three cloves of garlic. But I truly do have, when I have these large monster cloves of garlic, but I truly do have, it's looking like 12 individual cloves here. One, two, three four five 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. yeah. So what I'm doing now, I'm just gonna cut these up really quickly. I like mine chunky, so that's how I cut them. And then I'll add them to the skillet here to the right. By the time I finish cutting um, these cloves of garlic, it will be time to take the lasagna off the heat and rinse it with cold water and leave it in the colander above the um, yeah, in the colander above the stock pan. Um, Y'all, so I decided that when I get out of church tomorrow, I'm going to detour. I'm going to detour through Stone Mountain for you all. So whoever's my Lyft driver tomorrow is going to be with me for a while coming out of church because I'm going to detour through Stone Mountain to see if they're actually going to do lights tomorrow or if they're letting their people be off and then they'll resume the light show next weekend or if tomorrow is it because I don't know. Why wow, I cut up all that garlic that fast guys? Okay, cool. So I'm adding that to my skillet here. Um, I think I forgot to put, I think I forgot to put my olive oil in here. So let's do that now. I'm adding just enough to coat the bottom of the pan, so that's about like an eighth of a cup. It depends on how large your pan is, honestly. Okay, let's see. Let's get this onion done. Okay, guys. lasagna noodle is talking to me it's like we're ready we're ready ma'am we are ready okay here we are so now we're going to finish this one if you love chunky vegetables like i love chunky vegetables leave it in a comment down below you guys, let me tell y'all what I want. Um, what was on Kelly's eat list? Let me just tell y'all. Hello? I don't know what, what just happened, guys. But I heard a noise. Anyway, um, I want a Montclair coat. Okay. That's on my wish list. Um, I want this Damiea Ben keep all um which is carry on luggage set with the over the shoulder strap and um i want this particular watch i want a particular ring um and there's like three pairs of earrings in chanel that i want you guys get mad at me don't get mad um, they have these heart shaped ones that are like pearl, like a pink pearl. They're really pretty. Like I just used the rest of that jar of minced garlic. I am garlic heavy. It just brings your flavors to life. It really does. I'm using Italian seasoning in here. And I'm using oregano. Guys, um, next week when I make New Year's Eve dinner, just for you to get ready if you're going to cook with me i'm going to be using thyme and bay leaf in my cornbread dressing in addition to ground sage celery salt um poultry seasoning um some creole seasoning i'm going to use all of that too like i did last time but i just want you guys to have time to go get what you need um 
I just put Italian seasoning and oregano in my um, vegetables here, which is the fresh garlic, the minced garlic, the yellow sweet onion. Let me go get these bell peppers for you guys. And let me see. Okay, here's my bell pepper. This time they have the larger red, yellow, um, orange. So I'm gonna cut these up. I don't think I'm putting green bell pepper in the lasagna this time because I have these large ones. Um, so we'll see what happens in the next clip. So the next time you see me, which will be part three, we will be layering our lasagna. We'll be using Parmesan. Did I show you guys? I have a large 100% grated Parmesan by Kraft. Um, we'll be using the shredded mozzarella and we'll be layering. So we'll have about five. Yo, what are these noises? We'll have about five layers of um, lasagna and we'll be layering everything together. We'll be using our, our sauce. You'll see in this pan, we'll have everything. These diced bell peppers, it will have this tomato basil good and gathered sauce in there it'll have the diced tomatoes by hunks and we'll be layering okay guys so i'll see you guys in the next clip and depending on how long that takes we may have part four where i'm putting together your salad and then preparing the salad plate with the baked salmon and with the sherry sauce and the fresh salad dressing and avocado and bon appetit um you guys will be getting a bonus upload after all of this because i will make sure you have your peach cobbler okay guys see you in a second speech on stop recording video button